Alrighty, welcome to another week of A Taste with Dixie. My name is Anthony Hollis and this is Chef Shaylon Bridges. Hi, and I'm very excited today because we are making some type of seafood something. What, what are we creating today? We have today uh, Cajun fried catfish po' boy sandwiches and also I have a lighter side. It's called a sassy garlic butter shrimp po' boy. Mm, sassy, okay. Sassy. made with two uh, cups of cornmeal, a half a cup of flour. We also have the salt and pepper, the garlic powder, onion powder, cayenne pepper, and all bay seasoning. Okay, now are these going in there or have They're, you already I've cooked already it? prepared it for okay. us today. Alrighty, so how do we cook this? We get our catfish that we would like and we drop it off in our batter here. We're going to get it dusted lightly. Thank you. <laughs> Dust them off and get them in here fine. Okay, now what type of oil is in our pan? That's 100% vegetable oil. Okay. No peanut oil, no coconut oil. No, ma'am. So as this is frying, just wait a little second. It takes about two or three minutes to cook. Okay, so how do you know it's done? We're looking for a golden brown consistency on the outside, a crunchy, crispy. And I see our pickles are already Yeah, made. I have us a sideline to go with our pub boy today, and we have fried pickles. Okay, how do you make those? I just made a egg yolk batter, um, an egg wash, I'm sorry, and used, uh, I dusted it with flour and just dropped it in vegetable oil for just one or two minutes until it crisps up and gets golden. Okay. So it's a different batter. Could you use the same batter that you're frying the fish No, ma'am. No, I use a different flour. batter. Yes, ma'am. That's a flour-based batter, and this is cornmeal for our fish. Oh, okay. Cornmeal. So how long have you been cooking? I've been in the kitchen since I was seven years old. Really? <laughs> with yes, grandma and I've been in the mom. kitchen with my great-grandmother and my grandmother. Is this a family recipe that you're using today, or is it just one of your favorites? One of my favorites, and it's just something easy, quick to make, you know, and if you're all torn about what you want to make in the kitchen, make a pub boy. Okay. So what are we going to do with our shrimp? Are you frying those as we well? We will be cooking those as sauteed with garlic and butter. Okay, so you can get some sweet While we're waiting on our fish to fry. Well, thank you. How long have you been in the culinary arts program here at Dixie? This, this will be my first semester in culinary arts. Do you want to be a chef? Or? I plan on becoming a private chef oh. and try to enjoy that sector of the industry. Okay. I want to be an actress, so maybe you can be my chef when I come Give me a you. call. <laughs> All right, our fish may be on its way. Just trying to make sure it's nice and golden. In this pan, I have about maybe an ounce of butter or less. Give Can you use margarine or is it you need to use butter? It's a preference. It's preferential. You can use olive oil if you want anything a little bit lighter. Mm -hmm. You could also use uh, vegetable oil, whichever, whichever you like, whatever you like. And you don't want your fire that high, I'm guessing. No, because we're going to be sautéing some garlic, and garlic burns really, really easy. Mm. So we're looking at the right consistency. I'm going to take this out and put it on a rack so it can drain. So when you're frying the catfish, I see you flipping it a lot. You want to make sure I that it's I just wanted to look at the color, basically. Even. Ooh, boy. I'm going to throw nice. in some garlic. This is two, about a clove and a half to two cloves of garlic. Okay. No onions or anything, just strictly uh, garlic. We got some good vegetables on our sandwich, so it's going it's to balance out just fine. And our shrimp. 
shrimp, and those are already peeled. These are already peeled, de-veined, and again, they're seasoned. They're really big. They're really fine, really big prawns. That's a good sandwich worth. And how long do you let those sit in the pan? They cook really quickly, so you're gonna be looking for your shrimp to kinda of turn pink like that. Okay. Alrighty, well, we'll get this all finished up and we'll come back and uh, put together our sandwich, I guess. We'll be right back. And welcome back from the break. We just pulled our shrimp off from the skillet with butter and garlic. garlic. Yes, we do. Okay, and now it's time to make our poi boy. For assembly. boy. <laughs> For assembly, we have our romalai sauce. This is what we're gonna be putting on our sandwich. And what is romalai? Romalai is a mixture of mayonnaise, creole mustard, uh, garlic, um, shallots, and hot sauce. So we're gonna get this all lathered up good. Can't be shy. And we're gonna get both sides of the bread, top and bottom. Both sides. Really important. Okay. Now we're gonna assemble. Okay. Got us some lettuce. What type of bread is this? This is a French bread. You can use whatever you like. Whatever kind of sandwich bread is easier for you to get a hold to. And or whatever. It. Yes, I did toast it. Got a little tomatoes there. And we're gonna do some light onion. We don't wanna, you might wanna talk for the rest of the day. So <laughs> we wanna get you some light onions. Get our prawns. Put them on there. You want to every time you bite, you want to taste a sh piece of shrimp. So, <laughs> oh, the onion, man. Now, is there a certain number of shrimp to po' boy that you like? My preference, like I said, I want to taste a piece of shrimp in every bite. So I use at least ten to twelve pieces of shrimp, depending on the size. <laughs> And you see these are pretty big and meaty. Yeah. So you're gonna have a really good sandwich going on That's here. Cool. And I also have pickles and we're gonna lay them on the bread. Oops, gotta run away. All right, put them back on there. That is beautiful. Thank you. And do you do the same thing with the Pretty catfish? much the same process with the catfish. All right, we close her up. Oops. And I cut on a diagonal. I may have lost an item or two, but that's okay. I'll get the other plate for our catfish po' boy. That is so beautiful. I also have a 
a few fried pickles to go on the side. Have a ramp for the other sandwich. Yeah, yeah. Okay, look at that. It does look very good. Yeah, yeah, it's not the way. That is your shrimp. Oh, that's beautiful. We also have our French bread. That our is French toasted. bread that is toasted. I'm going to open that up and dress our next sandwich. Mama, mama, mama lied. Mama lied, mama lied. I'm a city child in the country, so I always mispronounce <laughs> it. So, this is like our second time having this on the show. And I'm so you haven't had my version, so hey, you're gonna be excited, I know. <laughs> Just because it's seafood, that's my favorite. Are you a seafood girl or Italian? I have no preference, I just love to cook. Again with the lettuce. Create a little bed there. I think the fun part is the plating, making it look all cute and Aww. tasty. Little onion. And this time I'm gonna put the pickles on that side. On this side of it. But this again is preferential, however you like to lay it out. And I've got my fish here. You're right there across there. Same with your shrimp. You want fish in every bite. Fish in so. every bite. You don't want to miss a, a beat. Cut it on a diagonal. Excuse me. Five pickles. And my normal lot. That is beautiful. And for garnish. Okay, seafood, you could always use a lemon. And there you go. Okay, now for the exciting part, you get to taste it. Yay! So I'm going to go for the shrimp first. Make sure it's <laughs> It's big and messy. <laughs> it's really good. The Thanks. shrimp is seasoned like perfectly. I can Definitely tastes the garlic, but it's not overpowering. It feels good. Okay, well, thanks for tuning in this week to A Taste of Bipsy. We're going to finish this up, and then we'll see you guys next week. Enjoy. <laughs> Glad you like it. <laughs>